Hi, I'm Teacher Del, and we are going to talk about copy reading or how to copy read. It is said the best news writers are made of the best copy readers. But because of the nature of the job of copy readers, they tend to have more enemies than friends when it comes to reporters. Sometimes they are called the butcher and the mutilator. So, what is copy reading and what does a copy reader do? It is the duty of the copy reader to check the grammar, the accuracy of the information, gets rid of the libelous statements and opinions, and cross out adjectives which makes the story overridden. In short, the copy reader can rewrite the entire story if it is poorly written. Copy reading is much like the work of an English teacher correcting compositions. But, copy readers use copywriting symbols which is universally known by printers. Now, what are these copy reading symbols? First, the punctuation marks. In certain quotation marks or apostrophe, use this symbol. Place the punctuation mark inside the symbol and insert it right above where you wanted to insert the punctuation mark. And then, if you want to insert comma, colon, and semicolon, we use this symbol. And then put it right below where you wanted the symbol to be inserted. Now, the period is a little bit different. The period will be placed inside a circle and place it directly where you want it to be. Second one, numbers and abbreviations. We only use one symbol and that is the circle. If you want to abbreviate, spell out, or just put the numerical value or spell the entire number, then place a circle. Let's go to the third one and it's to formatting. When it comes to capitalizations, we use double underline. But when it comes to italics, we use one underline. If you want a word to its bold format, then we can use the wiggle lines right below the word. For inserting indentions, use the symbol. If there's no need of paragraph, use no P. If the word needs to be at the center, then use this brackets. Now, if a story is unfinished or you think that it needs more information, then you can use the word more and then encircle it. Now, if the story is finished, then we can insert a number sign or we can insert 30 and put it inside a circle. Now, let's go to the fourth one, letters and word changes. For bridging two words after deleting a word between them, we can use this symbol. Now, if there are two spaces, we can close it up like this. If you have to insert a space, then insert this one. Now, when it comes to transposition, just use the symbol. Just make sure that the line is below the word you wanted to transfer to the right. Okay? Now, if we need to insert a letter or a word, we can use again the inverted V and put the word just right above where you want it to place it. Now, if you want to delete a word, just slash it out or you can use this symbol. If a sentence needs to be connected, now use this one. Now, after correcting something, now you realize that that word or that statement does not need to be corrected. But then you already had the symbols in it. What are you going to do? Don't worry. Just insert stand. Meaning, let it stand or make no corrections. Okay? Just like that. Copy readers are no exception for mistakes. Now that's it for today. But remember, copy reading symbols sometimes change us from company to another company. So make sure to check and follow the format of your publishing company. That's all. Bye-bye.